Okay, uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Okay, uh, the date for today is uh, April 25, 2024 and the time is uh, 2.09 a.m. Okay, my topic for this morning will be a continuation of my long video format topic, uh, Analytic Geometry. And uh, I am now, or we are now, on lesson number 6. Okay, let's proceed. The title of the subject matter for this morning, it will be a continuation of my long video format topic, Analytic Geometry, and this is now lesson number 6. And the title of the topic, okay, uh, we are running smooth, uh, we, we are running gradually here. The title of the topic will be Equations, Slopes, Slash Slopes of Horizontal and Vertical Lines. For the past five lessons, uh, I think the last three, uh, we discussed a uh, straight line. And uh, we, already, we already know how to compute for the uh, so-called uh, different variation of the requirement for straight line, like the equation of a straight line that is slope upwards to the right or upwards to the left. We know how to compute their intercepts, okay? We know how to compute for their equations. So for this morning, I will be discussing a spatial line, and these spatial lines are the so-called uh, horizontal and vertical lines. Horizontal and vertical lines are actually very important. Uh, I am telling you now, since I am teaching also integral calculus, in the so-called application of integral calculus in the so-called uh, computation of uh, the derivation of areas which we are uh, using under the study of geometry, actually those emanates from integral calculus. And some of the requirements for the solution of those uh, derivations are actually the equation of a vertical line and horizontal line. So horizontal and vertical line are are actually very important under the study of integral calculus in the so-called derivation of formulas we are using under the study of uh, geometric figures. Okay, let's proceed. <coughs> we are now familiar with the line uh, upwards to the right, upwards to the left. Okay, so how about the so-called horizontal line and vertical line? Okay, uh, do we know the equations of those or could we solve for the slopes of, of the horizontal and vertical lines? So that's actually our topic for this morning. So if I will try to bring out our figure, still uh, we are on the Cartesian coordinate system, right? This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, x is y, and I drew a horizontal and vertical line on the Cartesian coordinate system. The horizontal line is this one here. This is a horizontal line. And the vertical line is actually this one. This is the vertical line. Okay. Uh, how do we know the equation of uh, this horizontal line and this vertical line? And what are their slopes supposed to be? Because uh, under the study of integral calculus, if we try to figure out a certain area on the Cartesian coordinate system, sometimes uh, we needed the equation of the, all like a, what do you call this, a rectangle. And the so-called derivation of the area of a rectangle, this is x, this is y, right? Uh, the last time around, I derived under my random topic. This is uh, this is width, this is length, and under the study of integral calculus, sometimes uh, we needed the equation of the this portion here. This is actually a horizontal line, 
and sometimes we need the equation of this vertical line and this is actually a vertical line because if we got a vertical slice here oh, this is now integral calculus sometimes uh, we needed the equation of this side here in this side for us to formulate the differential area and how to compute for the area of that geometric figure okay so our knowledge of the so-called vertical and horizontal lines we will be needing it here so if you do not know how to bring out the equation of a horizontal and vertical line you cannot solve this problem and you cannot derive the formula we are using under the so-called study of, of geometric figures so that's the importance of the so-called horizontal and vertical line or oh, like uh, let's go back here this is a horizontal line this is a vertical line okay uh, there is an intersection point over here and I will try to designate the coordinates of this intersection point here the intersection of the horizontal and vertical line uh, the coordinates are actually A and B meaning the abscissa here is A and the ordinate is B okay Okay, uh, let's try to derive now the equation of the, uh, let's start with the horizontal line, the equation of this one. What will be the equation of this horizontal line here? So I will bring out the summary or the annotations, okay, on how to bring out the equation of uh, the horizontal line and vertical line and so with their slopes. Uh, number one, annotation. The equation of a horizontal line. We are now referring to horizontal line. Throw a point with coordinates A and B is, uh, this is the equation. It says here, uh, if we are given points A and B here, and uh, there should be a horizontal line that passes through this point here. If we try to bring out the equation of this horizontal line, this is the required equation. Okay. Uh, all throughout y is equal to b. The equation of this is uh, y is equal to b. Just take note of that one. Uh, if it's a horizontal line, the equation should be y is equal to b. The equation of this one is y is equal to b. Why B? Uh, <coughs> the ordinate here is B. Okay, supposing we consider this point here. The ordinate is still B. Supposing we consider this point here. The ordinate is still B. Supposing we consider this point here. The ordinate is still B, okay? The height all throughout is uh, actually Y is equal to B. The only changing for a horizontal line is actually the abscissa. Because the abscissa here is different from here, different from here, is different from here. So for it to be a straight line, the equation will be Y is equal to B. That's it. And uh, how do we know the equation of this horizontal line? Okay, so number two annotation for the horizontal line to, for us to determine the slope, that's why I place it here, the slope of the horizontal line, uh, we will be using our knowledge from the previous lesson that is uh, in the computation of the slope, that uh, slope in general is actually an increment in y all over an increment in x, uh, it is actually a delta x or delta y over delta x and that is actually slope a change in y over a change in x that is the term to us is slope that's why we pass by the slope from the previous lessons okay to use this formula here uh, we'll try to use the so-called uh, two points that lies on the straight line and what are those two points for the horizontal line we know two points uh, the first point is actually with the coordinates A and B. 
and the second point is actually we coordinate zero and B. Because uh, this horizontal line, whether we like it or not, okay, it intersects the y-axis. At the location, the abscissa here is zero and the ordinate is one. The ordinate here is B, the ordinate here is B, like what I said, this point here, the ordinate is B. That's why the equation is Y is equal to B. So to find for the slope of this, uh, we, we know two points on the horizontal line, right? This is the first point, this is the second point. Am I correct? Uh, uh, this is uh, P1, and this will be P2. Right? So I place it here. We know two points on the horizontal line, and for P1, the coordinates will be 0 and B, 0 and B. The abscissa here is 0, the ordinate is B. So the first point is actually designated by the coordinate 0 and B, 0 and B. So I place it here, X1 should be 0, and 1, 1 will be equal to small little b. For P2, it should be this point here. Uh, P2 should be with the coordinates A and B, that's why I place it here. For clarity, X sub 2 will be equal to A and Y sub 2 is equal to B. And by using this formula, slope is actually a change in Y over a change in X. Or it is just simply a uh, change in Y is actually the difference of Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 or minus X sub 1. Or we could reverse this one. The subscript 1 will be ahead. It, it, it is the same as just y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. But I prefer that the first subscript should be 2. For me. Okay? So a slope for the horizontal line will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Substituting values. The ordinate at the first point is actually v. And the ordinate at the second point, oh, at the second point, is B. Okay, this, uh, this is Y sub 2. And the ordinate at the first point is also B. So this is a small letter B minus a small letter B all over. The abscissa at the second point is actually A. This is A, right? And the abscissa at the second point, which lies on the Y axis, is, is actually 0. So this is A minus 0. Uh, B minus B uh, is 0, and A minus 0 is A, and 0 over A, uh, A is a real number, right? A real number. And a 0 over a real number, passive real number, is 0. So, as per our computation, if we are referring to a horizontal line, from now on, this slope should be equal to 0. Okay? This will not change. For as long as the line is horizontal, this slope is zero. Right? This is a horizontal line, the slope will be zero. This is a horizontal line, the slope will be zero. The line uh, that is uh, placed on the board, the slope is zero. So for as long as the line is horizontal, okay, if it is a horizontal line, the slope will be zero. Another horizontal line which is higher up, the slope will still be zero. Our uh, indicated line, the slope is zero. And the equation is y is equal to b. Uh, this b here uh, could take any number, right? Could take any number. It, it, it just so happened that our designation here for the intersection of the horizontal or horizontal and vertical line is a and b. Okay, so for a horizontal line, the summary, the equation of the horizontal line will be y is equal to b, and this slope will be equal to 0. Next one. The equation of a vertical line through a point with coordinates a and b, same as the first one, is the equation, if we are to, if we are to refer to a vertical line, the equation should be x is equal to a. For a vertical line, uh, this should be an abscissa. For a horizontal line, this should be an overlay. Right? Because vertical line, uh, it is like this. 
And if we try to plot uh, a vertical line, uh, we are just plotting its abscissa. That's why x is equal to a. And this a here could take any value. It could either be minus or it could either be plus. Okay? Uh, let's try to compute for the slope of a vertical line. Uh, what is the slope of a vertical line? Okay? Uh, the slope of a vertical line, uh, same as the first one, uh, we will designate uh, P1 to be with the coordinates A0. Uh, for a vertical line, this will now be our new P1, right? That's the P1 for the horizontal line, right? So I place it here. Considering a vertical line, our P1 will be with the coordinates A0. Uh, because uh, whether we like it or not, this vertical line intersects the x-axis at the location A0. The coordinates of this one will be A0, whether we like it or not. For as long as the line is vertical, it intersects the x-axis at the location A and 0. That's why our point number one here is uh, actually with coordinates A0. So, for clarity, we will place x1 to be equal to a, and y sub 1 will be equal to 0. At this location here, the abscissa is a, the ordinate is uh, 0. It doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it is 0. Right? And we consider point number 2 to be the intersection. Uh, the coordinates will be a and b. So, this is a and b. So the same as for the horizontal line, uh, x sub 2 will be a and y sub 2 is equal to b. And again, by using the formula slope, this is actually change in ordinate over change in abscissa. Considering these two points here, uh, I will be using the formula, the subscript 2 will be ahead, right? So I will place it here, am I still on camera? The difference y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Uh, y sub 2 is actually B, the ordinate at uh, point P number 2. And the ordinate at the first point is actually 0. So this is minus 0. All over. X sub 2 is actually A. Okay? And X sub 1 is also A. Okay? This is also A. Because uh, as long as the line is vertical, okay, even if we try to move the point uh, going up or going down, the abscissa will be constant. That's why the equation is x is equal to a. Right? So if we now try to simplify this one, uh, this is b minus 0. Uh, b is a real, real number. It will still be, b minus 0 will still be a real number b. And a minus a. Uh, assuming they are both real numbers, we are taking the difference, a real minus real will be zero, so what will come out? It will be b over zero, and if we try to compute for uh, b over zero, like what I said, any number divided by zero is actually designated by this symbol here, infinity, or the equivalent of infinity is actually undefined. Because uh, if we try to use our calculator, just to prove that one. Actually, we have proven that one already, that any number divided by zero, because there are many numbers, okay? Before it became zero, there are so many numbers. That's why when it reaches zero, uh, the, that number now will be a very, very big number. Like what I said, uh, supposing pi uh, divided by zero, okay? What will come out? It's just an error or undefined. Meaning to say, uh, this calculator could not hold the exact value of the number, that's why it's an error. Or that is termed to as infinity, or just simply undefined. Okay? So for as long as the line is vertical, the slope will be infinity or undefined. Okay? From now on, uh, as long as the line is vertical, the equation will be x equal to a, where this e here could uh, take any value, it could either be plus or minus, and uh, the slope will be equal to this symbol here, and this is termed to as undefined. Okay, uh, that's it guys, uh, these are just the added, uh, needed added concepts for us to 
uh, tackle integral calculus the so because the so-called computation of the so-called derivation of formulas we are using under the study of geometry like the area of a rectangle, the area of a circle, uh, the area of uh, a triangle it's all derived from integral calculus and sometimes we needed some equations for those straight lines involving those geometric figures. Okay, uh, good morning from Los Angeles, Professor David J. Delosier.